So here I am starting on the second layer of enamel paint. Um, my basic technique here is to use a sort of a pouncing movement, um, which gives that kind of woolly effect. And uh, for the second coat, I'm generally going to be pouncing a thinnish coat over the whole lamb, and, uh, and then I will go back over it and uh, take away a little bit where I want the shadows to be and add a little more uh, where I want the highlights to be. So here you can see the lamb is almost all uh, covered with a fairly even coat. And, uh, and now I'm gonna start adding uh, a lot more um, highlight. Uh, in this lamb, as in most of the lambs, the sunlight is hitting him on his back, so that's where most of the highlights are going to be. Um, the highlights are really what gives it dimension, and uh, also what gives a certain amount of character to the face, so each lamb has, uh, has its own challenges in how to develop it further. So here you can see a detail of what the paint looks like. I did have a challenge after the first firing. This one sitting down lamb had a couple of cracks that developed. It's very, very common um, and fairly easy to deal with. I took a diamond bit and I abraded um, where the lines were so that they didn't get fired into subsequent uh, layers. And, uh, and then I just, uh, again, using the pouncing movement, uh, painted over those areas um, with a little bit extra to uh, to make up the uh, where the parts had been abraded off. So after the first, the second layer is dry, again I do a little bit of scratching and I'm actually using um, a kind of a scribbling motion um, with, my, with my pick tool here uh, because I'm starting to think uh, a bit more about texture because uh, we still want to keep that woolly feel uh, to the lambs no matter how many layers we put on. So where I want the shadows, I'm kind of scratching in a, in a scribbly way to, um, to sort of softly take off some of the paint. And, uh, and I've got the eyes done here too. So now they're all ready for firing. This is the trivet that I used to put them in the kiln. You can see the, uh, the areas that I've scratched away that are, that are going to maintain shadow and, uh, and the areas that still have their highlights. So here they are ready to go in the kiln. Um, again, the firings here now, I'm t I've taken the kiln down even a little bit more. I did the first layer at 1300, and uh, I'm doing this layer mostly at 1200, 1250. And uh, the pieces are in there for about two minutes. But as I say, I have to watch them very carefully to make sure they don't overfire. I haven't decided now whether I'm going to put any black on the lambs. I'm still thinking about that. I think I might wait till the crows are done before I decide because I could put a little black in their eyes and their little noses and their little hooves and perhaps a little bit of uh, background.